everybody it's Kel. Now today I'm going to show you how to replace your um, alternator in a 2002 Ford Mustang. Let me show that to you real quick. I'm going to be taking this out today and replacing it and also replacing the circuit tune belt. Um, and my suggestion is before you start always take pictures of everything and make sure that the part that you're getting to replace this is the correct part. Uh, it's easy to find out. All you have to do is just go up to AutoZone or um, pretty much almost any auto place and they can look up your your model and uh, they'll give you the right part. Um, I happen to buy mine off of Amazon. You can also do it on eBay because they also have a function where uh, it can tell you which one fits what. But always be careful when you buy offline. It's a lot cheaper on Amazon. I got the alternator for 100 bucks, brand new. If you go to one of these auto places to pick it up, it's going to be at least two to two sixty, uh, probably even more depending on, on your model. But uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is um, get your wrench and find the hole that's right here. And uh, this, I believe, is a three eight. And um, you want to turn it this way to uh, unloosen it. You turn it this way, you're going to tighten it. So you turn it this way to loosen it. So, for example, you stick it in there like that, and you turn it this way, it will loosen it. Okay, so it's loose now. And that's off. I'm actually going to replace the zipper team belt. But with the brand new one, I'll show you to do that as well. So I just left it there for a moment, and I'm going to replace this first. Um, I'm going to take it out first, rather, and then I'm going to go back in and take the belt out. Um, and I'll show you how to take these out. It's pretty simple. It's just about four to three bolts. After you want to do those, um, you want to unplug this first. Be very careful with that. It's pretty old. I might have to get that uh, replaced, but for now, uh, I'll leave it how it is. It's taking me here for me to take this out, and you might have to use a, a, screw, a flat um, screwdriver to get that out. Also, undo the boot on there, unplug that, and she will pop right out. So what I'm using for this one is uh, a 10. You can see that right there. It's a 10. And this is going to go for um, this top one here. Uh, it should fit the bottom ones, but we'll see. And we're going to just uh, undo those uh, to pull them out. So that's a 10 on there. Okay, so here's the new one. Beautiful, isn't it? Let me show you the old one. This is the old one. That would be pretty, pretty, like, shitty. And if I were to do, like, a side by side comparison with it, you see damaged old brand new brand new so i can't wait to turn it on and see how it flows i want to add to the video because i forgot to say um how you replace the serpentine belt is that the belt has to be touching each of the wheels that are in there if it doesn't then you have a problem with your belt the belt that i brought was not a normal belt the normal belt you usually see are the ones that have the grooves just the lines going uh, which you will see in the old on um, the old one I actually take off the new ones have um, to help with the noise and the sound so they have these grooves not just the lines so uh, it helps with the noise so you don't hear a lot of um, crazy sounds when you're putting the belt back on also, when you're putting the belt on, you also want to make sure that there's no dust or debris that probably got in there when you're changing the alternator out. Also, with the alternator, um, I will be have I will have to change out the wiring for that plug that I said before in the video, um, and that will require a soldering video on its own, which I'll, I'll show. The plug that sits on top that has the boot on there, uh, there is a small little bolt um, that you can use with the same tool I was using to take it off no big deal so re really easy install and take out um, I hope this helps everybody with replacing their alternators obviously not all alternators are the same but if you have a Mustang uh, within that year range it's pretty simple to replace it all right there it goes so now all I'm doing is just putting to see if I can hear anyone Make for um, some plain belt movement. I'm guessing it's a little bit shaking. 